Hi, I'm Nancy Ann Martin with Recipes for Bodybuilders and people who just want to eat healthier. And today, we're going to make pumpkin protein bars. So first, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And spray an 8 by 13 pan with nonstick spray. And the ingredients we will be using today are two cups of oat flour, two scoops of casein protein powder of your choice. I'm using ump, as always, vanilla flavored, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of ground ginger, one teaspoon of each baking powder and baking soda, half a teaspoon of ground cloves, half a teaspoon of salt, one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. Now this is not pumpkin pie filling. This is pumpkin puree. One half cup of unsweetened applesauce, about three tablespoons of molasses, one quarter cup of non-caloric sweetener of your choice. I'm using Splenda two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two eggs, or you can use four egg whites if you're particularly concerned about fat, and a half cup of non-fat milk of your choice. So the first thing we wanna do is mix our dry ingredients together. So we're just gonna dump our oat flour, our protein powder, and then all of our seasonings and leavenings. So there is our cinnamon, ginger, our leavenings here, baking powder, and baking soda. Whoops, I didn't get all my ginger. That's important. Half teaspoon of cloves, and a half teaspoon of salt. And now I'm just gonna give this a gentle stir with my wooden spoon, and when it's combined, I'll just set this aside. So there's the dry ingredients, and we're just going to set them aside, and we're going to combine our wet ingredients now. So we have a 15-ounce can of pumpkin puree. I have a nice, firm spatula here. It's good for mixing as well as scooping. If you don't have one, I would advise you get one. They're a few dollars extra, but they're really worth it because then you don't have to use a spoon separately. And I've got my applesauce, half a cup. And then about three tablespoons of molasses. I'm doing this in an effort to keep refined sugars out. I could use a quarter cup of brown sugar instead, but I'm going sugar free right now. Now, a quarter cup of Splenda, if you'd rather use stevia, that's okay. Again, with baking, I often prefer the flavor of. Splenda as stevia can give me a little bit of a, um, a bitter aftertaste and if I'm going to bake something it's going to take the place of my protein bars. I really want to enjoy it so for me a little bit of chemicals here is okay. And we have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Love me some vanilla. And I'm going to put two eggs in here. And a couple of <laughs> a couple of shells. There we go. Got that out. Okay. Now I'm just going to mix these up real good. So here we are. We got our wet ingredients pretty well combined. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternately add the dry ingredients with the half cup of milk. Now again, if you want to use almond flour, uh, almond milk or soy milk or whatever you prefer, that's okay. Again, I'm going to use this because this is what's in the fridge. This is regular cow's milk. So I'm going to alternately mix these in and I'm going to begin and end with the flour. So about a third of my flour mixture. And I'm going to stir well after each addition. 
So now I've put one third of the flour in and I'm going to do about a quarter cup or half of my milk. It doesn't have to be exact, just an approximation. And that's going to get stirred in. About half of my remaining flour mixture is going to go in next, which is a third of the total volume, if you're a mathematical person like me and want to keep track. I'm just going to stir that real well. Okay, and then my last quarter cup of milk. All right, and then that last amount, so about a third of my batter, or my flour mixture. Now again, that wasn't that wasn't exact, and you can go with smaller amounts if you want to, but I found that if I alternate my dry with my wet ingredients like this, I wind up with things mixed in there better and just a nicer texture to my bars. So now we have everything all mixed, and I'm going to put it into my pan. Here is that pan that I greased earlier, 9 by 13, and I'm just going to pour this in here and it'll spread out just fine. I use this in place of purchased protein bars. Um, we've done several recipes now, my protein brownies and the protein balls and this recipe. I have a couple more that I use, but it's less expensive than protein bars and I also don't worry about chemicals and what some of the ingredients in the bars might be. I don't have to worry about nuts being in there, which I'm allergic to. So I'm just going to spread this in there evenly. And then we are going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes, I believe. We're going to take this over here and put it into our preheated oven. I sprayed that pan really well because there's no fat in the recipe, except for the egg yolks. Now we're just going to set the timer for 30 minutes and let her go. So my timer has gone off and now I'm going to check and make sure these are done. The old toothpick in the center trick has come out clean. Just a couple of little moist crumbs on there, that's fine. So I'm going to turn my oven off. Take them out and set them right over here on the counter to cool. So when these are done, I will cut them into 12 bars and I will wrap them up uh, with put some saran over the top and stick it in the refrigerator. Um, that will be my protein bars for this coming week. I will post the nutrition for this on the Recipes for Bodybuilders Facebook page. And if you want to get any other information, great recipes and the like, please do check out Recipes for Bodybuilders on Facebook. You can also stick around for just a minute and check out any of my links after this. Thanks a bunch and have a great week. You're going to really need to cut a lot of this out. This is boring. Okay.